The expectation was that I was going to go to college for accounting. I was studying a lot of business classes in high school before I found ceramics, and that's what I thought I was going to do. By the time I went to my college orientation, I knew that I was starting to form this passion with clay, so I wandered away from the tour group, found myself in the ceramics studio, and my future professor, Debbie Siegel, was there, and she really pulled some strings to get me started in the ceramics program. Awesome. Is she in the shot? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Jelly, you gotta go find something else to do. I got my bachelor's degree in ceramics in 2006 and got my master's degree in 2009. So immediately after that, I started teaching in higher ed. I was so blessed by having these amazing teachers and professors in my life who have really kind of shaped the course of my career. Uh, so for me, as a teacher, that was my opportunity to kind of pay back those people that have helped me so much. In the evenings and weekends, when I wasn't teaching, I was trying to work on this line and build this up in my spare time. So much of ceramics is really neutral earth tones and tans and browns, and I just wasn't finding the bright, happy colors that I wanted, so I had to develop that for myself. And that's how these early drippy pots developed. In a perfect world, anybody that's making art can just go in the ceramic studio and do whatever they want all day and have unlimited freedom. But when I was doing that for a couple of years, because I was like living off of teaching, I found there was this pressure to be constantly reinventing myself. Every piece that I made or every show that I had, I need to be doing something totally different. And there's something really nice about kind of growing this line and growing this series of work in a little bit of a slower way. Even though I've made thousands of pieces now in my career, it still always puts me back in that moment of when I was first learning how to do this. And that seeing the progress and learning how to do things with my hands is just incredibly satisfying. That's the thing that drives me to come into work every day and continue to experiment and grow what we're doing and training people is just that love of connecting with material and getting to focus on a process. Um, it's just what I need. It's no longer just about me and what makes me happy in the studio is I'm putting these things out into the world and I'm making other people happy by having them in their space. And that's driven me with like a different sense of satisfaction than when I was just making independent studio work before.